This video is a how-to on removing thermal compound from a heatsink and your CPU. First, what you'll need is some rubbing alcohol, preferably 70% plus, and you'll also need some Q-tips, preferably sterilized. And what you'll first you'll want to do is put a little bit, apply a little bit of the rubbing alcohol onto the end of your Q-tip. Then you're going to want to brush the Q-tip back and forth across the surface of the heat sink. As you can see, that's bringing up a lot of the thermal compound. And as the alcohol sets in, it'll start to dissolve the compound. You want to continue this process until it's all removed, so you may need to use other Q-tips or use the other side, depending on how much compound is on your heatsink or CPU. doesn't need to be perfect. There's going to be a little bit of residue left over afterwards. But you just want to get most of the solid dried up compound off of your heat sink. It should look like that. If you want to spend more time and get a little cleaner, that's fine as well. It's not important for this one. But afterwards, just go over it with a dry Q-tip and let the alcohol dry before reapplying any new compound. The same thing goes for your CPU, only this time you're going to want to be a little more gentle and apply a little less pressure so you don't damage any of the components inside the CPU. It's a good idea to do this process on new CPUs and new heat sinks and to avoid touching the surface of the heat sink or CPU to prevent your oils from your skin getting onto the CPU um, which can prevent proper cooling and actually dissolve some thermal compounds. 
Doesn't need to be perfect, but just get most of the residue off and it should work fine. Reapplying this multiple times can get a better result, or you can also uh, purchase kits online to remove thermal compound, though isopropyl alcohol works just fine. Hope this was helpful, and feel free to ask any questions.